friends, it's your friendly neighborhood, Sunshine Squirrel. Welcome to my channel where we are living life in the sun. Uh, today we are at the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown and we are going to take the Yorktown trolley down to the river walk at Yorktown. So let's go! and it also comes to the American Revolution Museum um, and you can actually download an app and it will tell you where the bus is and the whole schedule. So we're in the Riverwalk now guys. Um, it has a couple of different shops, so you can see the trolley going by there, and a little different eatery places. So uh, I'll take you guys around and kind of show you what it's like down here. I will say guys that the river walk is very much a local hangout spot um so i mean there are definitely people there that we saw that were like tourists but just so you know um <laughs> you'll probably stick out if you have like cameras and like different things like that that make you look like you're a tourist uh because a lot of the people hanging out seemed like they were locals that they lived in the homes um surrounding yorktown or that they drove in there are a couple of parking lots there's a parking garage and there's a flat parking lot that's next to uh one of the beaches
Village store um, there, guys, if you're interested in doing that. And then across the street here, I want to point out that that's a parking garage, um, but you have to be eating at a restaurant or no. shopping one of the shops to park there. They basically don't want you to park there if you're just there for the beach. this video um, about the river walk at Yorktown um, so my family basically we spent the day at Yorktown Museum and then we caught the trolley um, so there is a trolley down at the river walk in Yorktown area and basically it has various stops along the river walk so it will drop you off let's say in front of the bookstore and then another um, bus stop will be excuse me um, down at the uh, next couple stops down so it's a great way to get around um, and especially if you are visiting the museum it's a great way so that you don't have to actually drive your car down so the river walk is kind of like where there's a lot of shops and there's dining options and it's right there along the York River there's different vessels down there that will take you out for different excursions um, for like two hours or so um, there's these cute little shops down there. Everything is supposed to be keeping with the colonial theme. So there's an, a bookstore um, and there's even a sushi place, but all of them are in these buildings that make you feel like it's colonial times. Um, there are two restaurants that basically face the water there. So you can s sit on their patios and look out over the water. And then there's this little beach there as well. Um, when we visited, we saw a lot of people hitting the beach. Um, I will say um, the area doesn't have a ton of shops, so if you're really, really looking to like shop till you drop type of thing, you may want to hit the outlets um, that are down in Williamsburg instead. But I think this area is really cute, it's really quaint. Um, it definitely, like I said, has that colonial feel to it. So it's kind of a fun little area to walk around. Um, there's even a store where you can go on a Segway tour that will take you around um, the area as well. There's a Waterman's Museum down there and then like I said there are some boats that will take you out on excursions. Um, I will say as far as how are things in current state of affairs, um, there are, were not a lot of people wearing face masks down there. Um, and there weren't a lot of people really socially distancing, so I will put that out there just so you guys are aware, um, you know, where your comfort level is with all of that. I did see signs that were put up, you know, reminding people, you know, it's, you know, cute little phrases that they came up with to remind people <laughs> of these things. Um, but I just want to put that out there just so you guys are aware. Um, most of the stores that I saw, I think not most, all of the stores that I saw had signs in the in the windows saying face mask required for entry. Um, there's, as far as the restaurants go, I think it's typical for most restaurants that you know you wear your face mask, um, you know when you walk in, and then once you're at your table, you can remove it to eat or drink. Um, but I just put that out there just so you guys are aware. So whatever your comfort level is. But overall, I think. If you are visiting the Yorktown Museum, you might as well catch the trolley. It's a really, really short ride. I think it was maybe like two minutes or something right from the museum to the river walk. And then, like I said, as you're going along the river walk, the trolley makes multiple stops. So it will pick you up. So you can start off one way and be like, okay, we're done down here, and then just wait for the trolley. There's even an app that you can download so that you can tell where the trolley is and how far away it is 
from you um, so you can be up to date with that. Well, let me know in the comments below if you are a frequent visitor of Riverwalk and what's your favorite store or favorite restaurant to eat at. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.